All right, hello everyone, my name is Steve. Uh, I'm super excited today because of my order. A new MacBook Pro 13 inch has just arrived this week. I couldn't wait to open this. Who opened it? MacBook Pro, here we go. Ooh, pretty heavy. Nice. Clean, elegant, I love it. MacBook Pro 13 inch. Here is the spec. Now let me open this. I don't actually need scissors. I mean, there is this thing. I can just peel this off. Very well designed. Let me peel the plastic off. Wow, I can smell the new, the freshness. Feels like it, it just went out of the factory. beautiful let me take out the laptop peel the plastic off there is the USB-C cable as elegant as it used to be menus and the Apple stickers as usual and the charger very nice Now let me have this big baby come up. Oh, I love this feeling when you open a brand new thing. Pretty heavy. I like it. Wow, magic. Yes, the apple. Apple sign is on, nice. It's just by design. When you open up the lid, the Apple sign will be on. Okay, comes up. Language, English, let's go next. Pick a region, country, United States. Well, usually the first thing that I want to do is I want to set the percentage so that I know the percentage of my battery. And also I want to set my time. I want to show seconds because Usually gives me a sense of urgency. Another thing that I wanted to do is, um, although by default it's Safari, but I like to use Firefox and Chrome because I keep uh, session data in different browsers so that I can, even like for one application, I have multiple usernames and passwords. So I have different sessions so I can use different browsers. Cool, Firefox is downloading, Opera. That's another browser that I use pretty often. Not this one, Opera browser. Yeah, this is the one. Let me download Brave. Brave is another browser that I, I like a lot. A kind of old, but still it's um, pretty popular. I use it. I want to minimize that. Yes, it's taking up quite some space in my limited screen. Mine is a 13 inch, so I don't like that. Yes, uh, next thing is item two. I like item two. Um, I know there's the default uh, terminal on Mac, but I somehow I just prefer item two. I guess it's nicer, uh, it has more advanced building features, which is something cool. For example, you can have unlimited scrolls. That means you can have 1 billion uh, lines of rows in your terminal in one session. I don't know if Mac default OS, uh, default um, terminal can do that or not. I don't know, but I'm just used to item 2. Okay, Chrome is downloaded as well. So let's open Chrome. Let's install Chrome. Drag that into application folder. It's copying. Let me install Firefox and Brave as well. Drag them both into applications folder. The next thing that I need is on my Z shell. That's the mm, shell that I use. I don't use Bash, but I use uh, on my Z shell. It's just a very user friendly. It has a lot of cool plugins, which I use on the database. One, the one that I use most often is autocomplete. 
it, it basically caches your history of all of the commands that you have ever run uh, in your local, which is very, very handy, I would say. I read like that every second <laughs> when I'm on my Mac. All right, my Git is installed. Now let me run that uh, command to install my OMIZ shell. All right, here we go. Here's my OMIZ shell. Next step, I need a lot of plugins, especially the autocomplete and syntax highlighting. Um, a couple or a few commands that I really like. Now let me see my default shell. Okay, all right, it's already a uh, Z shell. That's cool. So I'm going to configure my Z shell RC. Plugins. Let me check out these plugins. Okay, the plugins that I need is first one is Git for sure. Next one is completion, Z shell completion. I need that. Yes, okay, this one, Git clone. Let me just Git clone this. It should be good enough. It's the name, okay, that's the name. Z shell completions. Save it and then open a new tab. Let me just clone that. All right, it's cloned. Let me source that. Source this file. All right, it's sourced. Another shell, another plugin that I really need is Auto Suggestions. Yes, it's called Auto Suggestions. Yes, get clone that and add this plugin name into my uh, ZSH uh, called Auto Suggestions. ZSH Auto Suggestions. All right, cool. Save this and source it. Done. All right. Yes, it can auto suggest. Cool. Yeah, one more thing that I need is syntax highlighting, which turns out um, to be very helpful as well. We can uh, syn uh, highlight in the syntax, which makes your reading a lot easier. We get clone this one as well. And then add the name of this plugin into my ZSHRC. Yes, here we go. Looks good. Now I need to set up alias. Yeah, I don't have any alias. My C usually stands for clear, so, but in my new Mac, I don't have anything. I need to add, add all of these alias. Another alias that I need is LL, which I just list out on um, as many details as possible. So I do ls dash ahlt. Right, let me source that. Cool. Now let me do C. All right, it does the job. Clear. Cool. All right, one more thing that I, I I'd like to do is this. I'd like to hide this menu bar. It it could be very disturbing and interrupting. See, there's. There could be messages or emails, so what I do, I usually just hide it. Automatically hide it. Automatically hide and show the menu bar. All right, now it's gone. Perfect. I'd like to have my current application to take up the whole space so that no interruption happens. Cool. So the next thing that I need is to install IntelliJ and Java, of course. So I need that. Uh, install IntelliJ, IntelliJ for Mac. Where's downloading IntelliJ? Community. Okay, now it's downloading. Cool. Next is I need to install Java. Let me just search brew install Java on Mac. That's it. No, I don't want to install Java 8. I want to install Brewcast install Java. That's cool. Pro install Java latest version. Hmm, it's still this one. Let's see. Get the latest version now. Brew update. Hmm. I don't even think I have brew on my machine yet. Install homebrew. Cool. Here it is. Let's do this. 
Press return to continue password. All right, good thing is starting. Boom. Well, that one is being installed. I have this download IntelliJ Community version. Yes, here we go. Let me open that up as well. Homebrew is still installing. Okay, let me drag this into applications. Right, let's copy in. A pretty gigantic application, but I needed 1.1 gigabytes. Well, wow. open this up. Now it's time to install Java. This will take a while, so go do something else. That's cool. Then we will just fast forward this. You just type this command brew install homebrew cask Java. And while this is being downloaded, uh, let me try to check out my repo. Oh, yes, I confirm. I have read this. This is awesome, good software data sharing, don't send, IntelliJ IDE community. Uh, skip and remain, I like the default settings, all of the short keys uh, that I'm so used to. So while I'm checking out my IntelliJ, Java is still being installed. All right, now my IntelliJ is open, okay. I'll create a new folder called developer. Yes, now let me go into developer and download GitHub. Yes, let me go to my repo. My repo is here. And then next, let me clone this. Clone, copy. All right, let me get. So now it's empty, there is nothing here. Okay, oops. Git clone. Let me clone my lead code repo. So I'll have this. Nice. Uh, do I have git status? Do I have git? I don't know. Oh, I have git. Git version. Looks like it's, it comes pre installed with Mac. Uh, that's cool. So next step, what I can do is uh, I can just import it from my local. Uh, yes, where is developer? Developer is here, lead code. Import this one, open. It's building lead code Gradle project, yes. That's awesome. All right. Let me see my Java. Oh, password. Oh, it's installing JDK 14. Wow, there is JDK 14. Amazing. Uh, tip of the day, don't show this. Uh, no time to go through that. What? My beauty is fading. Is that right? No, beauty is passing. Uh, let me see. Do I need to... Is my Java ready? Yes, Java is ready. Let's see my Java version. 14, that's perfect. Latest version. Uh, let me open my... Hmm. Let me open, like, for example, it's not configured yet because I need to configure JDK. Uh, yeah, I need to download JDK. Open JDK, cool, let's do that. So it's installing OpenJDK 14.01. Nice. Open Gradle settings. Yes, I need to do this. Oh, I don't have Gradle yet. I need to install Gradle as well. Gradle version. Uh, I think I'm just going to do brew, uh, brew install Gradle. That should do the job. Since my lead code project is a Gradle project, it, use, it uses Gradle as its build tool. It's downloading. How about this? All right, it's indexing. Cool. Installing Gradle. Let me see, where is my Gradle? Gradle, for the Java, uh, Java system Java wrappers to find this JDK. 
Simnic uh, ways. All right, let's do this. Do that. All right. And yes, open JDK first in your path. Run this. Yes, I'll run this. So at this moment, I'm going to re-import, create a new project. Uh, let me close this one. Open the import. Developer. Need code. Open. Open Gradle settings. Open JDK. Apply. OK. Now it's downloading Gradle. I guess it's something different. All right, is it done? The project uses Gradle 4.4, which is incompatible with Java 10 or newer. Huh, okay, that's a good call. Maybe I need to upgrade my Gradle version for this project. Upgrade Gradle wrapper. I'll just click that. 4.8. So it's forcing me to upgrade. That's a good thing. Although it might bring an undesired effects. Let's see. Gradle is building. Build successful download. Cool, it just finished. What can I do now? Is it ready to go? A moment. What's going on? Project SDK. Let me set it up again. Use Open JDK 14. Wow, nice. Now everything is ready. I'm good. I'm ready to run. Let me see where's my test. Test is here. Cool. Let me run this. Run one test. Nice instantiating tests. Cool, test passed. And now I can debug happily on my new Mac. Awesome. And now let me set up my GitHub credentials so that I can get pushed. Let me just open a random file. Say this one. And uh, I'm going to remove this. I don't need this to make it more concise. Uh, nope. To make it more concise. So I touched this file. Let me go into my terminal. Here is my terminal. What are the changes? Okay, I have a lot of changes. Let me add this change first. And the next, git commit. Uh, simply 5249. Oops. Yes, that's correct. Git push. Fisher coder 1534 and uh, copy my password there all right it does have my latest commit cool awesome now this one has been configured now i can write code happily on my new mac that's all i have for this video i'm super excited about my new mac uh, looks like it's very beefed up it's a very well oiled machine i'm super pumped if you found this video helpful, fun, or interesting, just do me a favor and hit the like button. I'm going to appreciate it a lot. And thank you so much for watching. I'll see you guys in the next one. And also, please don't forget to subscribe to my channel. We'll go through a lot of very interesting tech, algorithm, data structure, programming tutorials. I hope I can see you guys in the next video. Thank you very much. See you guys in the next one.